what's up everyone so in this video we are going to talk about restore node and you will see how you can uh, add quality of life improvements to your snippets using restore node it's kind of associated with choice node so i'll kind of revisit choice node as well so let's get started i'll create uh, start by creating a um, snippet trigger character is ii i'll just define a uh, choice node and we will define all our choices First one is just text hello. The other one is uh, text world. I'll refresh all my snippets and use this one. You can see uh, it generates hello. I can jump between two choices just like that. Okay, now that's not what we are going to uh, create. We are going to create a snippet for function and we will have two uh, choices. Okay. So the first one is going to be a variable that contains a function. So let's do func1 function. Um, this is the first one. Second one is going to be a function uh, with a name. So local function func2. There we go. Oops, I didn't mean to format. So these are the two choices and uh, let's store them as um strings so let's do local i cannot type today uh, local func1 i'll call this func1 and let's make this a string here we are going to do the same thing local func2 and make this a string okay we need to define our placeholders i'll just define one placeholder for each template um, it's going to be for the name of the function so here this is the variable name here it's going to be the function name there we go uh, now let's define our choices i will use fmt font one and the um, placeholder is going to be a insert node and the default value value is name I'll use the same uh, copy of the same thing here it's going to be the value is going to be or rather the template is going to be func2 all the other things are the same okay now let's use this we have this uh, variable assigned uh, function assigned to a variable the second choice is going to be this one right here function with the a name now here I'll jump back to this one and change the name of the variable and I will jump to the next choice. You can see uh, it the name of the function is a name, not the one I entered. So let's see how we can uh, store the value of the previous choice and bring that to another node using restore node. So I'll just get rid of this. It's quite simple actually. I can just jump to uh, input, uh, sorry, insert node and make this a restore node because by default, restore node is a insert node. So I can do that. And here, the second value you see, it's, it's not the default value. Uh, this is the variable name uh, or rather, let's say, key of the uh, stored value. This is going to be the key of the stored value. If these two are similar, it will store the first value. And when we jump to the ne uh, next choice, it will restore the value from um, this uh, uh, by this key. I think you get the idea. I really struggling to explain. Um, okay. I'll just use this and I'll as you can see the default value is just empty value we don't have a default value so just let's um, add hello here and when I jump to the next choice you can see the uh, name of the function is hello so simple as that however let's say we want to add another default value how would we do that well turned out you can add default values values to these stored values um, under snippets all you have to do is pass in a table as the second parameter of snippet 
and here you need to have a table with the name key uh, uh, key name is going to be stored stored um here we can define the key of the stored value its name because that's what we have here you can just change this to something like funk uh, name maybe just to avoid the confusion and this should be funk name as well so it's going to be insert node jump index really doesn't matter so i'll just pass in nil and we can add the default value this is default there we go now refresh and when i use this you can see we have this is default as the text uh, or rather a default text i can jump between the choices once again when i change the value the value uh, the change will reflect in the next choice as well because it, basically we are using the same node in the background so that's how restore node is working it's quite simple but um, adds you know kind of quality of life you know uh, improvements to your snippet so that's it for today thanks for watching have a nice day